some reason I can't get the game open. Time to restart it. Alright, back at it. Back on the grind. Uh, we, we don't really call this a grind, I just want to I, I go to Retriever. Alright. Hey, is there an achievement when you bring the laptop outside? <laughs> just to see out. Yep, yeah, there we go. We <laughs> give us some fresh air. Hey, <laughs> right. do we have more? Oh, new animals, I think. Still no golden retriever, though. Birds. She's a good old cocker crocodile good co 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 parrot <laughs> fish angel fish <laughs> angel fish discus guppy snakes spiders <laughs> There he is. Reptile turtle, turtle, iguana, another iguana, turtle, turtle, guinea pig, guinea pig hamster. Bunny. You know what, let's, let, let, let's get that bird. We need to get something in here. Uh, oh, what, what do we even name it? What was the girl's name? Uh... Oh no, what was the girl's name for parrot? Clarence? <laughs> Cl Cl Claire. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh, it's so big! It's such a big thing! Do, do I even have space for this? Oh my god, do I even have a space in the garage? Do I have space for it? Yeah, I can only have space for it here. Man, I might need to move. Alright, looks like we're gonna put you here in the garage for now. Wait, what is it? Can I put it here? here? Is there something on top? Could it be outside? Because there's no space where I could put this thing. Oh, I think I, <laughs> I think I might have to do it outside. I don't think I have a really I don't think I, I have much of a backyard though. I have my pool. Yeah, definitely no space in the I might need to get a new house if this is the case. I might have to move to a different house because this this is way too much, uh, way too small. Because this, this, this house is not meant not meant to be designed for more than two people. Oh, 
I'm gonna keep doing the uh, the pets thing. Or is these two home stretch? As you know, we're moving in with my parents, and we are on the home stretch right now. More people, more pets. It will get crowded here. There's a lot to do, but nothing too complicated. Renovate the rooms upstairs, build a doghouse for Champ in the garden, and prepare a place for him in the living room. He's not a backyard dog. A fellow sportsman, I would say. One more thing. Don't let my mom's cat out of the bedroom. That's it. Oh, wait, all, don't let his mom's you. cat out of the bedroom. Wait, is that, is there, is there, is there, does that mean there's a cat wandering around here? Alright, well, uh, garden. Let's see. Buy a large dog house. I thought you said it's not a backyard dog, it's an outdoor, like. Wait, do I, can I just put it anywhere? No specific. I guess I could put it anywhere. Uh, and this this lawn though. Uh, I can't. It's, it's bothering me. I got I got a motor lawn. Should I, uh, I think I should listen to something. Uh, let's go listen to some music. Back to mowing the lawn. Fence. Uh, <laughs> was that really a fence? This is a pillar. Freshly cut grass, it warms my heart. <sighs> now it looks nice. Alright, uh, this doghouse, how big is this thing?
was the name of it. Champ. Like, I have to draw it. <laughs> <laughs> awful, awful handwriting there. Alright, I gotta buy some other things too. Dark bow. Sideboard. What? Uh, let's. let's uh, bathroom. We need to change anything here. Kitchen. We need to change anything here. Wait, you want to change the door here? <laughs> All right. Wait, no, I don't need to break it down. I can just add it here. Uh, oh, I need to change one of the things here. Yeah. <laughs> Object this thing. Paint the colors of light vanilla. White object cat on fence hanger. Well, first, let's do the painted thing first. The sideboard and sofa. Which one's the sideboard? This thing? No. This? Oh, that's the sideboard. Okay. All right. What's this? Oh, dog bed. Uh, could do it here. It's a perfect spot. But is there anything big? Anything else big? Yeah, here's a sofa. Maybe I should do this first. Oh, I gave you change their angle. That's nice. But uh, which direction, which would be the best part for the sofa? Oh, I think here, because that's where the TV is. Seems something that matches the room, so I guess something brown. Nope, nothing. Alright, basement. Right, nothing in the basement. 
Let's go upstairs, but I was told about a cat. Don't let them out there. Thing. <laughs> what was this room? <laughs> was it? Was this? Was this his old? Like he, he said, he was going back to his parents' place, and I think this is his parents' place. So I guess that was his old, this is his old room, I guess. Is that, is that people bags? Can't sell them for some reason. Oh, I did click on them. Alright, clean the window, don't need to replace the window, okay. Do some more dirt. Need the dirt first. Right. Uh, paint the colors bright peach. Listen. Save, save money on paint. What, 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 what am I doing the ceiling? What, what? But this isn't done. What? Well, that's weird. Oh, I had to do a plaster for the cavity. Okay, yeah. Alright. Plaster. Anything else? Nah, I think that was it. What? Oh, it's here. A lot of brown in this house. I guess I'll stick with that color scheme. Alright, put all the paint buckets aside. Alright, the bed. Let's take the brown theme, so... Mattress, brown, coffee. bed was here last time so I guess we can put that there. Desk. Pine. Get a laptop. I mean, it's fine. I don't know, space.
stuck. over here or I guess they're nah it's dangerous let's do it like here well there's a small poster oh. alright I guess we can do it here Sell everything, I guess. Do you want a window here? Is that what's, that, what's going on here? Okay, all the windows are the same. Yeah, it's pretty much the same with this white window. I see we gotta sell the stuff. But oh yeah, just look at the seat <laughs> and this window. Oh, they want the window here instead. Okay. All right. Now install the panels. Tub, any bathtub, obviously we go for the cheapest one then. What's wrong with the budget here guys? Two sinks apparently.
Only one? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Give me these carpets. Bathroom is so weird. It's like, don't they get like gunk? <laughs> or moldy? Isn't that what happens? Definitely his old room or something. Floor tiles. Oops, this. Let's turn on lights. Panels bright. Is it similar to ones that I have already? No, these, these are like ceramic tiles. Curtains. Double bed, okay. Mahogany. Not a lot of space in here. Oh wait, I can put this on the side of this thing here, so...
Oh no, the curtains. dark now. Kitty. <laughs> Pet. Uh, what? <laughs> I was a bit worried. I thought it crashed for a bit. British. <laughs> These cats strong in character and moderate Temperament for stand outs, tasks outside their reserves, still needing an owner's love. If you definitely don't like being carried, okay. If, if one chooses you, you become its favorite person. So, is it dirt here? Okay, this is a piece of trash. Oh! Standing. You're not supposed to get out. <laughs> oh wait, there's a what? Okay. Didn't even realize this. Oh, geez, it's a little dark. Oh my goodness. anymore so let's sell that yeah, let's get these lights up first Oh wait, it works like that? Oh jeez, okay. Uh, hey Kyoti Pie. Oh, hello, how you doing? Now wait, I need to check my phone. I saw updating. Yeah, I didn't see you yes! for a bit. Let's do Whoa. it! <laughs> Oh, ship a bunch of ship out <laughs> raid with 80 people. I'm I'm in the middle of doing something. I'm working on a house. Uh, well, I'm not really working on a house. I'm just doing a doing a contract job. I think. Wait, one two. So I did do five of these light bulbs. Can I do one each? Like okay, I try this. One like there, and then one over here. My setup, and then one here, one here, one here. Wait, whoa, 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 why is it? Wait, what? Oh, do, do, wait, do I have water like this? Oh no, it counts as one thing. Oh, I don't want to count like that though. A lot? Mmm. 
If I knew that, I would have done like one way across the whole thing. Instead of this zigzag thing going on here. Now I'm gonna redo this again. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> this time we're gonna do that one across the whole thing. Well, I mean, can I do it on the very top? Maybe? I'm try the very, very top. Well, now I'm just missing one more bulb. What? <laughs> oh my god, this house. <laughs> it's gonna really trigger my OCD a bit. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing alright. Just, uh, kinda just chilling it for a bit. That's why I just wanna play a game like this. Wait, bulb modification. Wait, I can change it? Wait, can I, can I. What? <laughs> okay, sure, you got a weird thing over there in the corner. Uh, panels? Oh, okay, I don't, oh thank god I don't have to do like the whole thing. Well, I just bought a bunch of panels for no reason then. Wait, how about the bottom? Can I? Okay, there we go. Yep, just bought some panels for no reason. Four panels? Here. Here. Alright. You want a bill or table here? <laughs> kind of a request. Alright. What? I heard a meow. Did the cat get out? <laughs> I hope the cat didn't come out. Alright. You gotta have some lost space for the other table. Wait, I gotta check out the cat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Alright, we got couches. Uh, I don't know where to put this couch. <laughs> this would be so uncomfortable. You have to hunch your back. <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> like light switch. But uh I'm gonna be coming from here, so What? I can't really do it on this oh my god. If we had to put the light switch like somewhere here, that's so dangerous. <laughs> Alright, this would be center so far. <laughs> <laughs> the center coffee table. Uh, it has been a long time since we talked. Uh, we should talk again sometime. I mean... What am I trying to say? <laughs> um... I mean, I'm always, like, available with, like... Well, I mean, like... Like, I, I, know, I know some people have messaged me on Discord, but I don't really, like... Talking over Discord sometimes, like I don't, I don't like, I don't like going through over text and stuff. I much prefer like, if you do want to try to talk to me, it's like I prefer talking to me like over VR chat or something. Um, we'll hang the TV here. Wait, where can I even put this TV? I can't put. Yeah, I have to put it like here because like, yeah. But yeah, because like I, I'm not, I'm not too comfortable. Oh my god, this is, this, this is. I need. Okay, no, no, no I, I need. <laughs> How about here instead? Oh, because what I'm trying to say, I'm I'm just I'm not that uh, sociable <laughs> over Discord. Um, especially especially with with people I'm not too familiar with. I don't want I don't want this too close to the stairs or to the ladder. What is this? Dog enclosure? What? Wait, is... I wanna make a dog enclosure? Wait, where are we... What? Where, where would a dog sit? What? <laughs> Wait, I might need... I may need to change this up a bit. Wait, hold up. Cause it, it feels like we need one dedicated space for... 
this living area. I need, I need, I need to organize this down. I'm gonna have to do it like this. So, do it like this. Like this is gonna be like the entertainment area. Uh, watch TV. Sit on the couch like this. Uh, we can do that if you if you want. Just need to know when you're on. I mean, I'm I'm on VR chat every Saturday. <laughs> if you if you ever want to catch me on VR chat, it's 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 every Saturday. I'm I'm always gonna be on VR chat every Saturday. What? You, you don't want me to make a gate here or something? I ain't right. I gotta put a. I gotta put a gate here. Is that everything? And that's pretty much everything here. Chat? Oh, you're here. Hello. Gift treat. Here you go. <laughs> oh, hold on. You're not supposed to go outside. <laughs> okay. Right down here. Change this bathroom to a brighter bathroom with more stuff inside. Change this attic into whatever this is. Change the backyard to a nice freshly mown uh, backyard for the dog. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to make. I need, I'm gonna need to get a new house for myself so I can get some room for pets. Cause this is, this is not designed for, uh, uh, for more than one person. I mean, I could sell some things. I could like move around some things and then. But it wouldn't really wouldn't be much of a house if I did that though. Jobs. Like chasing the dream. We've gotten bored with the monotony of our lives. Computers, papers, meetings, deadlines. There's more to life than that. The smell of burned tires, adrenaline, speed, the atmosphere of rallies, proving that we are the best. That's why we quit our jobs. The other reason is our dogs. We love working with them. We've got plenty of room for more than the couple we own. Why not have a handsome pack of Australian Shepherds here? With them, it will be like a small paradise.
nothing we need to do in the garden area. Nothing we need to do here. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, oh, they clean this up. Oh, wait, no, no, they want to, they want to redo the kitchen? Is that what they're saying? Oh my god, they actually, well, I know, they do want to redo the kitchen. Oh my god. I'm so old as then. stuff. Right. Oh, okay, here. And then paint. Jeez, I gotta do this windows part. Oh no way, they want some panels to be white tiles because I think that's where they want the kitchen stuff to be. Standing near the point does oh, nothing! Oh Get on the point, dumb cough! Uh, Typhoon Blue, wait. Is that a fans of the movie? <laughs> Wait. Uh fans of the park, fans of the raid. <laughs> well two raids and one and one 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 stream. That's rare. <laughs> I don't I don't remember the last time that has happened. But yeah, I hope you guys uh had good streams and all. I'm just here chilling, doing some housework. Oh look at that look at that burp. <laughs> I want to burp like that. Yeah, you know, I like I, I want to do like um D and D stuff. But I I I, I, I know it's kinda kinda random, but it's it's I just I just reminded with with D and D stuff and I I really want to do like a I really want to do like a D and D campaign where I'm DMing. Um problem is that it can be kinda difficult. Uh, because there's a lot of pressure, <laughs> I, I feel like. Uh, oddly enough, I use the same Facebook avatar you have. Yeah, I mean, it, this is, it's free. It's Facebook, free DLC, Solaris pack. Or not Solaris, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I've been playing too much Solaris. Um, Starbound pack, and, you know, just, just decided to take that because it, it was the only one with, the, with a burb. And that's why I took it. And I stuck with it. And now I. Now it's 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 been like. <laughs> the character of the channel now. I don't want to worry too much about the uh, 
which colors to use, so I'll stick with the default. Right, the fridge was here last time, so let's put it here. Well, jeez, I was like, <laughs> where the, who turned off all the lights? Microwave. Assuming space engineers building a base on the moon. Anyway, best heading to bed. I've streamed for 12 plus hours today, and it's almost 1 a.m. here. Now, take care. Have a good stream. Yeah, you too, take care as well. Thanks for, thanks for rating me as well. Hope, hope you're not too burnt out <laughs> after that 12 hour stream. Man, I haven't done a 12 hour stream for in a while because the last, the last 12 hour stream I did was for Subathon. Uh, I feel like I want to do it again for my birthday, but I want to do. Like physical real life stuff <laughs> on my birthday, so I don't want to just do streaming the entire time on my birthday. I mean, I'm still I'm still gonna do a birthday stream. I, um, I just wanna like uh, do some with friends first. I still have enough space for this stuff. Right. Stand cabinet. Not too tall. Tall cabinet. Oh, I do have space. Okay, nice. Just enough. Set up herbs. I think that's it for this kitchen. Uh, nothing new here. Nothing new here. Nothing here. Oh, I see. Oh, what? They also want. They also want to redo this one. TV, not the laptop. Oh, big fancy curtains. So let's do something like that. Was a dog bed. It's a 
Why does he want to keep this wall? So everything here. Even a radiator. Oh, he's the one to turn it down. Oh, you want a sliding door? Okay. To the outside. Oh, the dog enclosure. Okay, so this is. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, uh, this, this is where we take care of the dogs and let them do their business. I think I'll do the enclosure last. Let me uh, see what we need. Uh, I think we probably want the enclosure to be like, not not have them go outside. So, like, you know, don't make them wander off. Or not. It. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> would this be an area where you take care of them, or would it be out here? I don't know. One has to be like the place where you. Uh, Just be like the bathroom, I guess.
I don't like this layout I made. <laughs> yeah, this isn't good. Yeah, this is not good. Well, apparently job's done, so... so we did the kitchen... We did this room to make it more like this... This office into a bedroom... <laughs> I just added the door! <laughs> I didn't even mow the lawn! Should I do another job or should I get a new office? There's still more, obviously, it's DLC, so. Quality upgrade. Years of living in the city drain Mr. Kenichi. Uh, tired of, uh, of all the hustle and bustle, he decided to retire in the countryside. Having convinced his wife of the idea, they bought a lake house. Uh, the picture never looked brighter. They were going to play with their grandchildren, have guests. Have Keep a beautiful aquarium. Unfortunately, the house isn't ready for this yet. Need some work. Alright, well, it's not a house. Create a renovation. Although she's been li living in a cozy village for more than a decade, uh, nobody knows much about her. The rumor is that she used to be a teacher and the head of one of the most prestigious schools in the country. Organized and organized and pend pedantic to a fault. I've never seen that word before. Um, she has to, she, she has to have everything under control. She her, her only foible is her, her only foil foible <laughs> is two two adorable cats, Merlin and Ozzy. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Af Miss Athena Karis. Right, I think I want to do the lake house. Some tea. I can't say I didn't oh, like our city apartment. It was cozy, and close to theaters, cafes, and restaurants. But the noise was overwhelming, and the air not so fresh. Now, this is what I call a quality of life upgrade. Here, we've got everything we need. First of all, fantastic views, and more than enough space for us and our guests. Then, a big yard, a terrace, a lake, even a private pier. We'll get a new aquarium with the most colorful fish in the world. Our grandchildren love it too. Fish. Oh jeez, yeah, we're mowing the lawn. <laughs> we have to anyway because there's a bunch of weeds we have to whack.
Oh, and we get one stay. Still one more weed. I keep getting stuck in the fence. <laughs> We're not counting that trash out there that's out of reach. Is there like a, a thing? Oh. What? Am I? No, I'm stuck. What the hell? Save me, lawnmower. <laughs> there we go. No, I don't want to leave. Find his last weed. Wait, lay floor tiles with the whole thing to be this tile instead?
Wait, now it's done. What happened? <laughs> Did the weed somehow disappear? Hmm. That's not right. Oh, I guess I had to renovate the whole thing. This whole place is ruined. Set up some walls here. All right. Wait, do they want walls or do they want the half walls? No, 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 it's just, no, that, it's just where the half wall is, I don't need to destroy anything. Like this side I do, but not this one. Alright, so here, um, lay the floor tiles. I just don't know where to start and when it ends. So here, up to... Here? Oh, so we got this part. Want this area? This is the it's a foyer, isn't it? Sofa here. Accessible spot for this thing. Alright. Now for the next part. Sell the window. Not that window, this window. Uh, we need to well, destroy this wall, so let's see here. Up to here. Up to here. Also the window. Wait, not this window. Wait, is this all one room now? I'm a bit confused here. Oh, this window. Wait. No, this is a room. Wait, what? This is build walls, but build walls where? Does it want me to complete their walls Hello there. here, actually? Uh, hey, sleepy cutie. Ooh. <laughs> Hello there. Wait, I think they want the walls here. I think that's what it's- but it's four. That's- Unless they want the walls here? I am so confused. I think they do want it here because that makes the most sense. Alright, so 
think from here. No. Oh, this is one to come in from here instead, I think. Yeah, okay, now I get it. Alright, now I'm gonna do the little ones. Hello there, Hawk the Grunts. Wait, <laughs> Easty, is that you? <laughs> Why did you change your name? <laughs> Yeah, the other room is different. Okay, so this is this is more correct. I, I don't know why there's a big gap here. It feels like there should be a door here. <laughs> or, no, or a wall, but I think that's where the kitchen is. Because I think what's happening is that the kitchen is pretty much the barrier that so you don't uh don't lean too hard against this, so. Alright, let's set the floor. Um this is gonna be the kitchen, so wherever the kitchen is. So like that for now. And the light panels for the walls here. See how the kitchen would go from here. Okay, great. Must be a house designer. Must be following chess now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not much of a no. I'm not. I'm not a house designer. <laughs> I just, 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 just be doing doing things of face value. I'm doing it how I how I uh, how I see it. Jeez, how big is this kitchen gonna be? Two fridges. Yeah, this is gonna be a huge, huge kitchen. I need, I need to do this instead then. Sink here. Oh, no, I can't. Ruined. It's ruined. <laughs> So I can't really have the kitchen sink there then. I need to do something else. Something else to fit the thing here. Or I could just push the couch a little bit to the side. Oh no, this table's in the way. Oh, hello, Bucket. How you doing? Just push this aside. Hopefully that's enough. Ah, oh, just barely. Alright, push this more to the side. Just do this first. <laughs> and there we go, now it fits. Then we can do this. Uh, 
I hope they bring the pet DLC to console soon. I didn't know this game was on console as well. <laughs> Two gas stoves. <laughs> That's a bit excessive. I mean, it is a big kitchen. I mean, <laughs> and again, I I don't. I live in the in this. I, my kitchen only has one stove, so I don't have the luxury of this. Can we fit the fridge here? Oh my god, we can. <laughs> I was expecting we we can, but apparently we can. Going to a completely different thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do. I'm not going to listen to my podcast. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm almost like in the middle of, um, middle of listening to a podcast. So, but I don't know if you guys want to hear me listen to a podcast. <laughs> unless, you, unless you guys want to hear me talk instead, because like, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of awkward. I don't know. Let me just uh, bring up a podcast while I do this stuff. Or you know. This big year. I don't know. Would you guys rather listen to a podcast or just like, continue playing music in the background, or rather, hear me talk more? Because <laughs> that's the whole point of watching a streamer, right? Hearing the streamer talk. There's gonna be some more. Okay, so this this will be for the kitchen, and then this would be. I'm gonna put a light switch here, right? And then we got more ceiling lights, and that that'll be for the rest of the area here. Dining table, big tiny table. Yep, that's good. Oh, not too close to the area. More centered here. I'll just continue playing more tour. Oh, I have two Spotify's open. Because if you guys like the podcast I'm listening to is Triple KO, which is a fighting game podcast. So, because like I I'm into fighting games, uh, but I don't know not everyone is really that into fighting games. So I don't know if people really want me to listen to that kind of stuff. <laughs> Radio system. Uh, let me put the clock right here. No fly pot. Oh, it's down here. I can just. If I was gonna be those vertical radiators, I think it's just. Good thing it's just this.
Oh wait, I still have this on my thing, so... Well, I know there's still more I need to <laughs> panel up, actually. It's getting dark. Uh, gonna try to recreate my house in game. I don't know which one to use it, but I just started a couple days ago. Well, I, uh, I mean, I, I, I used to have a house in Thailand, um, but here it's just apartment, apartment, apartment. So I don't know if they have like a apartments. <laughs> apartment flipper. <laughs> I don't know. If that would be a good. That would be really entertaining. Does this, do they seriously just want me to just to do this? Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, automatically fits it. That's that's good. What? <laughs> Door? Stick it there. Here. I think there's some lights here. Alright, switch. Go. Don't need to use my flashlight. Okay, so what is this room for? Wait, do we have a TV here? A what set? Oh, these things. a TV area, so there's a TV here. Where this, these speakers would go. So we got this thing, I don't even know where to put this thing in. Here. <laughs> right, next house. Or not next house, next next room. Right. I guess we can go down to the basement first or clear out this staircase. Right, clear out the staircase first.
here, man. Right here. That's good. Uh, let's go down first. Let's start from the bottom. Huh. Alright, we're gonna do a lot of wall building apparently. Well, give it a day to lay down the floor at least. Good point. Five walls at once. Try to get some experience with the wall building at least. Actually, you know what? I, I, I kind of want to listen to the podcast. I want to catch up on it. So, sorry if you guys won't listen to me. I'm going to listen to my podcast. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Like that, where it's different boss, or would you like just like one main badass boss? Oh, so you mean like uh, the Four Kings types up in Street Fighter? Yeah. Uh, I, I think, I think it's, it's really, yeah, I think it's rare that any games nowadays do that, but it happened quite a uh, There was at least a sub boss. You know, there are at least one or two, and it would yeah, because on whether <laughs> it's just a the podcast, they're just talking about like fighting game bosses like, and Mortal Kombat's always had a sub boss. Uh, like fighting most games. Midway games had some type of sub boss. So, like even War God like has one. You know, so I think it's pretty cool. But sometimes I've seen games go too far with it, where it's like, ah, uh, uh, Bloodstorm has like <laughs> six or seven other bosses before the awful final boss. So. I think it's easy to get a little carried away, but I mean, that's not really a concern modern wise. But I would appreciate it if there was a sub boss and a final boss, like just just to just to mix it up a little bit, because nowadays it's just always like a final boss or a special version like the Shinakuma or, or Devil Kazuya, like we have like match. Ma yeah, it's, it's, it's always like usually two to four bosses, but like Neo Geo Battle Costume didn't really have a four, four. kings. Um, it was kind of more of like. All right, you do a playthrough, and then depending on the results of your arcade playthrough, because it's all based on time, like on how many fights you accomplish, will determine which boss you fight. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that one was pretty unique because all four bosses come from like obviously different SNK game franchises. Um, what you have like Neo Dio, uh, who else? King Lion. Um, who's that guy that looked like Castlevania dude, white hair? One of those guys. And then it was one of those guys, and then another one was uh, King of Fighters 97, Orochi's, but his name was not Orochi, it was like Mizuhara or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mizuguchi, yeah. Um, that, those four bosses were super sick. I actually love the fact that you were able to, like, kind of choose for which boss you, you kind of want to fight based off, like, the progress of the game, and they yeah. were all, like, really difficult. And I, I kind of like that. It was kind of like a four-in-one type of thing. There needs to be, like, a ramp-up, right? That's the thing that sub-bosses allow. It's that mm. you have to think of, like, what does a sub-boss represent in a fighting game arcade ladder? It represents you're not good enough to fight the big bad guy, you little baby. Like, that's that is, <laughs> that's their presence. Like, you gotta get through me to do this, and it's... Oh, and it, and it yeah. leads and builds, right, to the eventually. So, if this guy's hard, what the hell's at the end kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Well, right. I really like it when it this? doesn't happen too often, but like Mortal Kombat 1 did it where it's like What's Goro it? oh, was the frame. champion. Okay. Shang Tsung is not in the tournament. No. He, like, you know what I mean? But like since you beat Goro, he's like, bah, 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 okay, it's me then, I guess. <laughs> like, I, the, I'm the very last line of defense. So I, I mean, Go I think, you know, I'm sure people can correct me, but it's like Goro was the harder fight of the two. Uh, maybe I'm assuming that because I just remember, like that's that was the conversation of the day. Uh, maybe that's not accurate, but like you know, Shang Tsung throws three fireballs and just turns into other people. So cool, but I I believe that I remember reading that that wasn't their original plan for Shang Tsung. It was gonna he was gonna do a bunch more shit, 
And they're like, oh, well, we don't have enough time. Let's just have him morph into other other characters. He he doesn't even look like he's part of the game. When like when on his old form, like yeah. he just it just doesn't look like. Because he's floating it. and it's yeah, like kind of odd. Yeah, his yeah, clothing yeah. kind of doesn't match like the game's like style. Uh, but yeah, I would say for Mortal Kombat one and two, Goro and Kintaro were definitely the harder fights for sure. Um, everything else, like after that, like even Shao Kahn the first time, like if you, all you had to do was just jump kick and he just blocks it yeah. and he doesn't punish you. Like Kintaro, if you jump kick him and he blocks it, he actually punishes you for doing that um, most of the time. So it was just comes down to it. Sometimes the sub bosses could be harder than than the last boss, and I would say that's kind of a bummer too. But what you were mentioning, Matt, of how which which bosses really stand out, and there is a series to me that that absolutely does because their boss fights are uh, relatively unique, and I don't I don't think it was it was emulated or I mean it was obviously emulated later on in other games in the future, but it, it sort of started this, um, and it begins with Apocalypse in X Men vs Street Fighter. Oh yeah, absolutely. I love the giant bosses in the Versus yeah. series after those are good after Marvel Superheroes because Marvel Superheroes was just like Doom and Thanos and Children of the Atom was just like Magneto, you know. For the Magneto most part, Magneto was tough though. That he one was, was a good fight. Yeah, he, yeah he, he, it's a actually a fight. very fun fight. Uh, but the the um, the giant bosses. The, here, the caveat is none of them are super hard, right? Uh, unless you mock They're intimidating. Them. Yeah, but. they're intimidating because they're huge and big and crazy. Like, what do I even do against this type of stuff? But, yeah, Apocalypse and, um, jeez. Even, uh, actually, you know what? I just realized Marvel Super Heroes technically is Cyber Akuma. That's a, that's a bit <laughs> different. True. But Onslaught, I wanted Abyss, to put it in a closet, Onslaught. but I don't think it's yeah, a good idea uh, to put that there because it won't fit. To a lesser extent, Galactus, and even one that is pretty damn fun, which is Ultron Sigma. Like, all these fights are actually really awesome and crazy fun. Damn, uh, Max, you 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 left out the that one boss that no one cares about, Mr. Abyss himself. I just, yeah. I said Abyss. Oh, did oh, you? Yeah, yeah, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear For it. some reason, I was like, no, yeah, all those bosses are cool, but Abyss really sucked, actually. <laughs> Mars Kakum 2 might be one of the greatest fighting games of all time, but that boss fight was trash. The weirdest but, thing is that progressively yeah. they get easier and easier and easier as time goes on. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst part, especially if you have cable and you just beam the crap out of the red form, yeah. and I'm just like, yeah, that's unfortunate. Remember the gimmick to, to Onslaught? You just pick Chun-Li and do forward HP and it stuns him to death. And oh, it's like, yes, the two five two hit fireball. Yeah, dang it, man. <laughs> Wait, this is not right. They, they, they just got easier and easier. Wait, is this easier. supposed to be a door? A really easy fight. Is a door is a to the stupid easy fight, even on the hardest difficulty type stuff. You have to, like, give it a chance to even let him see some moves. But yeah. those fights, I think, are just fighting game cool. bliss. Type well, I think you yeah, sell cool. the windows first. That yeah, makes me bad. Especially at the time, yeah. because they were so... Um, I want to say that there was there so like go. screen like but, uh, they drew a crowd if people saw you're at the oh boss. no like, was, that's where yeah, you, you didn't <laughs> really so see anything hilarious. like that at the time especially since most fighting game bosses up to that point were just like you know human sized whatever is because that was the the limitation of sprites i guess they could yeah. draw them to be but as the the hardware like the uh, cps2 and everything they're like oh well we can do a big gimmick boss yeah only this part is technically animated <laughs> have, like his arms and like the torso is not really moving around or yeah. anything so it's not too bad but yeah that that hasn't really been replicated I don't have too any, often don't outside paint from, upstairs like your example with uh, galactus i um, I, uh, I i love onslaught on the second form yeah. of onslaught is the coolest thing ever like when, <laughs> no, and, especially in the loud ass arcade because uh, i wasn't doing he just panels, comes doing out, panels. it's just like damn if that is a sick boss. He's even got a great it, voice too. Yeah, the voice is great. <laughs> the moves is great. Even though, like, he even, he even calls assist. He calls out Sentinel too. Yeah. Uh, I thought that. I thought that was. I thought that was great. Hey, this has now turned into the onslaught podcast. Right, right. <laughs> but before we move on, what did you think about? So you mentioned Xmas Street Fighter Apocalypse. I mean, he was great. Like, he was a pretty cool addition. But then when Marvel Super Street Fighter came out and they nerfed Apocalypse, were you they upset did. about that? Were you yeah, upset that about that nerf? Yeah, stupid easy in, in the follow-up. I don't understand why, because he's... Even even as a, a youngin, right, like Apocalypse site isn't that hard. It's just literally you hit him in the head. Yeah. And that's it. Like, you just... We, he goes off screen, here comes a drill, right? Okay, I know what's going on. And you just <laughs> jump over it. It's like the most, like, easiest, straightforward, like, tells ever. And 
for some reason he becomes even easier in the next game like i think they make up for it for the fact that cyber akuma is a tough ass boss right yeah he that's is true genuinely like a hard to court sort of oh, deal I see with Bert, because I he just follow. does so much oh, damage and he acts like an run, coward! <laughs> for you to do shit. Tweet, tweet. that's the reason why they did that he's like a sun boss yeah. now yeah, that's uh, true. Yes, and he has I like that cheap ass that's me. foaming I arm missile move stream, that, like that just tracks everywhere. Yeah, I'm like, punch. bro. Yeah, that that uh, he he was a cool boss for sure. I know two other giant bosses that are not like. Yeah, uh, even when there was a woman in the background, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just uh, listening to a podcast because, like, I, I, I was like, using some music, I but I mean, kind of listen to the same music all the time age. because of copyright um, issues. So I think it's like to certain artists I do enjoy, but you know, you can only listen to the same thing so for so long before you get bored of it. So I just wanted to listen to my podcast because, like, uh, I want to catch up on it. On his side, and I, when I played Mace of the Dark Age like uh, a year or two ago, I just couldn't beat him. Uh, just, I, I actually just ran out of credits at the time because this was like the home version I was playing. So I, I could not beat him, and people in the comments were like, "Yeah, it's 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 actually just uh, projectile spam for him. You just stay far away. You throw your projectile." I was a character that did not have a projectile, so that checks out but uh osmodius is a kid i can never really be he's just like a giant orange dragon yeah and the other one was the end of bloody roar 4. the boss is simultaneously one of the coolest bosses in bloody roar at least and also oh, one of the lamest because okay. the sub boss yeah. is just this it's karate man <laughs> karate it's like, is his name no but like okay. he, he, if you said that was his name you'd be like yeah that checks out his name is like ryoho and um He's just karate man and he has a little girl as like his stand and she turns into like a little nine-tailed fox thing and you're like what is this this is a, a tandem duo that you're fighting and you're like wow this is the lamest thing i've seen ever <laughs> and then you beat them in like i think in a full match and then like she the little girl's like i'm out i'm peace now i'm gone and then this guy turns into a giant purple dragon that has like it's it turns into like a from soft boss you have one Wait, round what? This to was beat a him bloody war? <laughs> and if you lose it's game over this instant no it sucks <laughs> yeah. it, it sucks yeah i've never beaten this boss ever because he's lame and i don't even want to fight him i suppose if I, I if i loaded up on an emulator and did a save state fine i could i could tough it out but but you almost need that yeah you you do i because you don't give enough time to learn what the boss is doing yeah and in previous bloody war games like before it was bloody war 3 and primal fury and that was just um god uh uh not uranus chronos it was a guy that turned into a penguin and it was hilarious because he turns into a cute little penguin in like a in like a rubber suit and he's like meh, meh, meh. and it's kind of funny kind of annoying but if he powers up one more time he turns into a phoenix man that looks that looks like he's from heaven and he and it's the super sickest torn but you rarely see it because you can beat him fairly easily so going from that to like cool dragon guy but you have one shot to beat him and i'm sure there's some sort of exploit i don't know but when bloody roar 4 was new and i was i was already disappointed because it was bloody roar 4 and yeah. just a lamer game but you get to that boss and 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 the game has stupid endings you really want to see they're like the <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> they're like the, the Japanese. Uh, the Japanese equivalent to MK4 endings. Yeah. Where it's just the character models doing stupid shit and saying stuff that <laughs> makes no sense, and yeah. they're in-game models too. So it's even more special. And really bad dubbing. So you want to see these real bad, but um, you know, I could never beat Ryoho and Nana. That, that's that's their tag team name. But one that, the one that really name. stands out AC. to me that I think is a AC. hilarious here. and right? also you want, you want, like you because like the whole like point of AC is like to filter out the air really from like the outside and the inside, right? So is, uh, should be around Have you guys here. ever beaten Tekken Four? Tekken Four. Uh, I, I I I I remember playing Tekken Four in arcade, but I just don't remember who the boss. You don't remember is who the boss is. Why? Yeah, okay, so. I wish I could get a picture of it, but Tekken 4, you have this whole arcade mode, we're going through the whole roster, and I think there's a sub-boss, but you get to the last fight, it's the King of the Iron Fist tournament finale, and you're in this big octagon MMA yeah. ring, and Heihachi walks out with all these, like, sparks and stuff, and he's in a oh, diaper. Diaper, yes, in, I remember he's that. He's in a fundoshi. <laughs> 
and it's just like what the hell do you see his, his cheeks and all and he just slowly walks up and he's like i'm your final opponent i was like wow the last boss of tekken 4 is heihachi in a diaper <laughs> okay uh, this is do great this standing there that's first. actually kind of disappointing i guess when you think about like all the other tekken bosses uh, from, like, unknown. Like, yeah, unknown yeah unknown and and ogre. Like, the ogre as azrael yeah like and then you get and then you get Heiachi as in a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Jinpachi being super tough, like, unless, un until you start learning just, like, because he's, he's the first Tekken character, or maybe one of the first, maybe someone else did, that actually had, like, projectiles. Fireballs, yeah. Fireballs, and it was just a matter of eventually, like, find, like, you know, uh, two or three really good moves and circle strafe around them or whatever sure. and get in close. And but I remember initially, though, when I first got Tekken 5, I was like, oof, this is, this is a... A tough boss fight, oh, wait, what? but it wasn't. You, know, you, you can get so, used to it. But Jim Pachi, is it a closet Jim Pachi was also a bit of, I think it's a of Tekken. Stay with yeah, me on this Tekken jumping the shark. I'm like, who is this guy now? You can't tell me that there's older relatives. They're just showing up like I I live, bitch. I'm the great grandfather. I came out. You know, I. It's kind of one of those things where, what like like what happened? He he got like um unlocked. Not unlocked. I don't even know what's going work but like pretty much unleashed unleashed like he was like in stone like or like or something like that yeah like he was like in a tomb or a stone or a stone or a coffin and then something happened where he just came out and like they they released him from his it grave burst out of his coffin i don't know it was it was it was he, he was sick looking but then when you listen to the story i'm like bro it's always the families it's always family trouble and in, in the machine drama always always family drama when it comes down to it oh this guy's related to heihachi so his his hair has to be inverse where it's like his beard that but he's bald so he doesn't have, like <laughs> whenever i think about jipachi i'm like just they're designed for him i'm just like wow there's no there's a reason why this character never reappeared ever again like not even tekken tag 2 that 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 was literally everyone is here uh but not jinpachi though it was like a um, one-time thing i think it was i think maybe they were just like you know what we can't you know we we, we have to come back from tekken 4 heiachi boss so we gotta do something <laughs> <laughs> let's let's make a new character and be like this is the great grandfather of of, of everyone and then call him jinpachi and then we should be good yeah. uh i i looked up a boss that i personally did not ever get close to. i was with a friend and we we're trying to beat this back in the 90s at the end of eternal champions you beat you try to beat the eternal champion uh, and this might be unique you have to defeat him oh, hey, in five uh, consecutive right? rounds <laughs> actually, actually, that, actually that stand is, up and stretch a bit my rule, legs I'm in two rounds. yeah uh, i'm not sure if that's like a default like setting or whatever but like that's what i was reading and eternal champions works that you can't spam the same special moves because yeah. it eats up a chi bar uh this boss does not of course abide by that rule they can do whatever special moves they want hmm. at, at any time and i don't think they were playable in that version of the game they might have been i do know that they were playable in the the sega cd version but i read that and i was like eh, okay five i've never heard that before for any other boss five rounds like and he can only he needs to defeat you in like two of course like he how is that because fair, Eternal Champion? I mean, why not? That's he's Eternal. <laughs> I guess. But it's like, th that's the, uh, the, the point of Eternal Champion is you defeat the Eternal Champion, you get your second shot at life. Because he'll pluck these characters right in the middle of them dying for yeah. various reasons. And I was like, no, put me back in the dying thing. I don't want to fight you <laughs> for five consecutive rounds. It's too much. Right, shower bathtub. Did you guys right, speak so this would be where the bathtub is. No, it's like, uh, like another oh, boss. The shower. I think bathtub. that was like really hard. Uh, growing up as a kid was probably uh, Killer Instinct 1. Oh, uh, um, yeah. Idol. Had, oh, wait, Killer Instinct 1 and 2. Idol and Gargos. Bro, I. Yeah, I hated them. They're the super fact, cheap. Yeah, they're w the fact that like they, they combo break you and they take mad damage from the combo breaker and they heal and they while heal. you combo yeah. breaker. I was like, no, nah, there's no way I could beat this boss. They heal so fast. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, but... they're cheap. I, I, I still like I'm on the on the rope whether or not old Gargos and old Idol are great like ending <laughs> fighting game bosses like in general not just from gameplay but just from like a visual standpoint. Idol, yeah, Idol is definitely like an out there sort of 
thing. I think the closest yeah. thing he lines up to is Spinal. Technically, it's like a Ray Harryhausen character. <laughs> yeah. It's like back there. And Gargos is just... I think Gargos is the one that, that definitely is out there the most if you look at just KI2 alone, where the weirdest thing in the game is obviously Spinal and Glacius, but everyone else is like, you know, I'm Raver Girl, I'm a ninja guy, there's a robot, and now there's like ancient demon gargoyle <laughs> like <laughs> i i always thought ki ki bosses were like interesting and out weird there, like, because just you have a shower and a bathtub yeah i, I don't like idol i was kind of like oh that's pretty cool like you know visually like his design is a little dated but gargos at the time i was like gargos is an awesome name but you look at his design he's just like he looks like a jobber creature in a castlevania game yeah like yeah, that's, that's true he doesn't look that special Fortunately, his stage and his music are like amazing. It's just they somehow got like five-year-old little V Mills shredding on a guitar, and and when you knock him off, like his knockoff animation for for when he dies is like super sick. But yeah. when you actually look at him, he he can he can float in the air, shoot a long stream of fire. I don't even remember what else he does. Like. Uh, it's been a while since I, I fought him because I mostly fought him on Ki Gold mm -hmm. on uh, the N64 because I, I you know uh, Ki Ki Two in my local arcade and you know at least someone comes by every so often and gives Ki Two a chance so I didn't get to see Gargos too often in that but uh, yeah like even Ki Twenty Thirteen like their designs are so much better and more interesting like Gargos gargos looks like a boss like a world ending old one yeah or something and and idol while while ki you know hardcore fans are like oh, he, <laughs> he doesn't actually have two heads it's just one head split in half and i'm like yeah that's because that's awesome that's way better and, and a <laughs> way, way more better. creative way to do that and uh, and it controls half his move set i mean that's so cool and anyway even, um, even the players complain about gargos in in killer instinct where it's like even e even though gargos the version you fight in the game is severely toned down from like the boss fight that he actually yeah is, yeah everyone always complains that gargos is like fighting a boss character because he really is man like the way he plays and that was that was the design behind him when i remember hearing uh keats and other designers talk about him we're like we want to make a boss character like legal in game and actually playable <laughs> like that's the goal you, he needs Very he needs to be like we speaking to the point i'm listening to a podcast you know, right now um so want, the podcast i'm listening to is a fighting game podcast it's called triple ko we have uh mad big muscles like, uh, so the, the, I remember that YouTuber I showed it the What Happened series. Uh, Maximilian like dude, he's like a huge fighting game YouTuber and, and Twitch streamer as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and we got Justin Wong, <laughs> legendary pro, yeah, well, legendary uh, uh, fighting game player. Yeah, won multiple evils and all yeah, that. Yeah, they very quite quite a cast for a podcast. Bro, this is the cheapest character I've ever seen in history. Like. He's like so annoying. You can't catch him. He's just like pissing people off. He summon. He does. He throws out random supers and summons little minions, and they just like the guy with a little pitchfork walking at you and stuff like that, just That's stabbing Larry. you and then interrupting. And I'm like, bro, this this is such a sick boss. Like such a sick <laughs> character. I was like, man, they did they did a great job with Gargoyles when he, I first saw. He's him. he's a huge skill check, like a, a knowledge check character, right? Because there's so many gimmicks about him, like. Larry the blue guy can take two hits and then he's gone. <laughs> Jerry the little fat guy can take three really hits, but he's not like usually, as aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> he's a bit more defensive. Like if you don't know these things and these really specific direct counters, it's a nightmare. It's like I never get to touch them. I, this guy just always gets to punch me from a mile. Because right, right, right now they're talking about fighting game bosses and, out, and well, fighting games and. Stone. Yeah, and they're, they're just, just going through the ones that, uh, that are very that's memorable that's and that's stuff. Or, or or just because, no, no, like, ultra, nowadays... Ultra well, like maybe I should pause the podcast for now. <laughs> because they're, they're talking about, like, because how... Back in the days, uh, in the arcade days, fighting game bosses were designed to be cheap as hell because they wanted to suck your quarters out, to suck the quarters out of you <laughs> and, make you, and make you keep playing. And, and talking about like nowadays bosses don't really do that anymore because well the, well, well, well in, in terms of a gameplay or casual standpoint you, like, you don't want to turn people off or um, you're not you're not your goal isn't to piss them off you, you really got their money so by having them buy the game so why not why not just actually make it fair so that's and then now they're talking about like you know 
their boss bosses in, in like all the other games. They seem like how pretty much how they all, how they all evolve or how many uh, interpretations they did with the, the fighting game bosses and stuff. Um, I, for me personally, I don't I I I, <laughs> like, I I don't like hard PC. I don't I don't like hard CPUs, so I'm I'm not really too attached to difficulty in in fighting games. But again, at the same time, I never really went to the arcades that much, so I never had a childhood with the arcade, so I I wouldn't really understand the the feeling of beating a very hard hard boss. Uh, but yeah, but for me, I would like I, I don't know the hardest boss I ever fought. I like in a fighting game. I'm not even sure. Part of me wants to go, like, Shao Kahn. Like I I I feel like Shao Kahn was 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 always like that. But after a while, I I just I just managed to get some exploits in, so then then it doesn't become hard anymore. Like Shao 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 Kahn back in MK9 or. UMK3, uh, UMK3. Well, yeah, I mean that, that was pretty hard, but that's that, that's an example of an old fighting game being hard. Um, but yeah, I can't really, I can't really think of one that in recent memory that really, um, you know, gave me a really rough time. Like, because again, like I, I'm, I'm not really in the uh, generation, I would say that you know had to had to deal with the hard AI and stuff. <laughs> Not like cheap but mechanically challenging. Uh, oh yeah, what the boss means in terms of difficulty, right? That's what was yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like they're 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 also talking about like um the different ways to have like a boss. Like it's like do 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 they want like is it better to have like a unique boss fight like a a, a unique character for a boss like you like a, a character that you cannot pick for the character select screen you know just like purely just a boss stage only like you know, like, like Chronicle in MK11 right you can't play her right she's just purely a boss character. Or would you, or would you rather have like a, a jacked up version of a, of a normal character, but just you know, juiced up, have everything in hands, you know, all the time and stuff like that. Um, like 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 in Guilty Gear, you got Nagoru Nagoruyuki. He's just he, he's just a normal cast character, but they pump the hell out of him with juice, and then <laughs> he just becomes super powered and stuff like that. So, you know, that that kind of boss. Or I mean, obviously they also talk about difficulty. Like, is it better to have like um, a boss where it's like it's possible to do all your normal stuff with them, like you, you fight them like a normal person, or <laughs> should they be cheap as hell and just do do mechanics that that's that, that's unheard of <laughs> for, for, from the usual play? Uh, but yeah, they're, they're just talking about like the other um, fighting games that do all that stuff um, differently. Because obviously, um, they had they talk about like the reasoning behind them, um, like the context and stuff. Because obviously, they talk, they talk about their arcade times and their childhood. Obviously, the older games they were like that, but then yeah, with, with the modern side, um, it's more like the discussion of like is it is it okay to do it nowadays? Because like um, in terms in terms of the audience sort of stuff first. Um, but yeah, just like, you know, should bosses be fair or should it be unfair? What makes a good fighting game boss and all that? Anyway, I'm going to back to the podcast again. Okay. That, that's, I mean, that, that's kind of cool, though. I like that a lot. I mean, ju- you, since we're mentioning him, just that that uh, uh, Shadow got Shadow... What was it called? Shadow Wars? The the Season 3 story mode equivalent. Uh, oh, God. Shadow Wars. Shadow Lords. 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 Yes. Uh, I literally uh, just worked you... on it and I forgot about the name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a while since yeah, Maximilian worked on Killer like Instinct, Instinct, the 2014 um, version. <laughs> they should they should get a hashtag trending for that. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, Justin, did you ever play through that mode uh, where all it is is gaining buffs to f- eventually fight Gargos because his fight is going to be so tough and unfair that you have to spend at least like two three hours gaining really good buffs in the hope that you get stuff good enough to fight and beat him. No, I actually have never played that. Oh, you should try that. Yeah, the last time I played KI was probably like middle of season two. Mm, Okay. That that was the last time I like played, played KI. So the fact that you're mentioning that like, okay, like you have to like level your character up to like beat this character is, it just sounds like 
It sounds pretty fun, actually. Like, I, a lot it, of fun. It, it is sort of like a roguelike mode, in yeah. a way, where you just, you're killing things, and then after a boss fight that has a story, fight that has a story, a chest drops, and you get stuff that's, like, consumables, or you get these little, like, mags slash pets that buff you that, like, either give you more meter or prevent you from being counterbroken and stuff like that. And you use all these things up until the end against, like, Gargos, right? You, you use some sparingly up until the final boss fight. My only issue with Shadow Lords is, like, in, in theory, it's really cool. And it is a fun mode, but it takes some getting used to, right? Yeah. Like the presentation and the UI and the interface of, like, what you need to be doing and how you need to be doing it is kind of, like, daunting. It's like... Well, okay, so what's yeah. a lot of text? There's a lot of things that are all over the place that you have to keep. And I just want to, I, I, I think it would have been easier if you just fought and then leveled up stats. Like, just make my just make my, my, my uppercut really, really busted. Like, make it more damaging than anything. And I'll just cram points into, like, an uppercut. It's not like that. You have to get, like, you get these consumables and mags, and then I think you feed them, sort of. Yeah. I, I can't remember, but... Yeah, I, 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 I've played, played that Shadow Lords mode for a bit. It's, it's a very but man, it's very intimidating, well, because you have to like, you have to like, learn some characters that you're not used to. Like, oh, uh, after you defeated TJ Combo, you then searched TJ Combo's car... <laughs> and he had like this this stand that helps both you're like and you're like hey you didn't need that but like um the the main thing i forgot about until we just started uh uh speaking about it again and like uh, max knows this but justin there's like there's a countdown clock gargos is coming yeah. on this day Ooh. and you have to buff yourself sufficiently before the end of that happens yeah. And if you lose a match, it's like you lose some things. Like you, there's a penalty for losing a match, or you you'll get like less good uh, loot. And all this is and like when I talk about this, I get excited about this mode again. And there you there you, there's even a reason to do it because you unlock like uh, Gargos's stage. You can't get this stage any other way, and you also can't even try to beat this on easy. It has to be like I think hard, medium or higher or higher. Or maybe hard. Yeah, they, they and make you, they make you play it on the harder difficulties to actually get the good unlock. Yeah, Ooh, that's so, kind of that's that's, that, so. that's kind of cool. It's kind of like an old school puzzle fighter where if you pick easy, you only get three stages compared to normal yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah that, that, so. that old school easy modes in, in in most games, including fighting games, was like you just get access to half the game. Come yeah. back later when they, when you turn <laughs> it on medium. <laughs> and and now that I'm thinking about this, uh, all three seasons of Ki were like. The uh, Shadow Jago, the special version of Shadow Jago, is like the ultimate boss you can you can fight eventually. And then in season two is Arya. Yeah, she was selectable from the start when she was added to the game, but um, she didn't really get a special version. It was just she didn't do anything special, well, right? I don't think that there. I, I, we weren't really given any specific things to do with the, the single player, the the story mode for season two. That was because at the, at the end of season two, yeah, Arya is is a is like a, your, your final boss character in many ways. Yeah. But the it, it's more like rivals, right? It it, it uh, it's yeah. an acclamation of like if if you get to the end of this, obviously TJ Combo at the end should fight the head of Ultra Tech, you know. Yeah. Orchid should also be doing something fairly similar, you know. And that was the focus of that. The, those bosses like how you're going to build up to those so there was and since it was relatively low budget we didn't get that, like the ability to like get programmers or guys that could script completely new things into those fights and stuff like that i think they're relatively normal yeah but thankfully it's like aria being the head of ultra tech and like a new character you're like okay well this is a boss or something and then for and then for season three it was all about gargos like gargos is coming it's <laughs> like you, you have you have seven days you have like a week be, it, steal a bunch of stuff to, to buff him because all the heroes of KI were all like we got to work together this dude is coming very like Marvel it's very like Thanos is yeah. showing up and he's just gonna body everybody so yeah. it's a Every really cool moment one tile that I would like to see like we're need. talking about um, you can the spend boss too much than what you need and, uh, and yeah, just I'd like spending to way too much and then you, you, you know than that. Like, yeah, you, make the boss even tougher then maybe you can gain like a buff or two or something during the thing but I think it's too late for that now yeah like the option to play it at the hardest difficulty is there and that's the thing with with Gargos is that you can like you could skip all of the days and just go straight to the fight true and then if you want to try the fight like it's fucking ridiculously hard and the, the crazy thing about ki is that combo breakers exist right yep so as soon as you touch some of these bosses they 
they, they destroy you. They immediately like break your shit, and that's that's where I think a lot of those consumables and buffs that you get can yes, actually. Yes, I I have I have played KI on the, the hardest idea, difficulty by accident. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Like, <laughs> and <you just laughs> they combo break everything. Like I I, I could like, barely get like a free hit combo before the date combo break. Yeah, and then like it was really the, hard to uh, uh I mean I might as well I might as well win one like, round uh, at least but still like, really, like I've been, I've been it's at really hard for like, you know three or four hours and like yeah, one I just skipped the last two days like maybe I have a shot maybe you got really good stuff and you know all the the, the buffs and items See, and like potions you can even craft I think it was crazy so, here's here's the weird I just recently looked at this so I have like a little bit of recent perspective because it's been like five years five six years um the the mode is just straight up like a mobile game mode in many ways like you can buy yeah. packs you can spend real money to buy the in-game currency <laughs> to unlock like the consumables specifically for that game mode and stuff like that or you can just earn things naturally as you fight and stuff like that there's literally like s i just want to i don't want to have to go grind on these matches to go earn these consumables i'm just going to spend 10 bucks and get all this stuff right Ooh, it is actually it is actually well it's more like pay to uh pay for your time right if you pay don't, for a chance yeah pay, pay, pay for it to win pay, pay just to like avoid doing all like some of the grinding oops so <laughs> i turned that on there, right? it has this <laughs> entire i almost forgot that's about this funny right? i can actually do it out of order and so water would screw it out if i do that <laughs> the mode is relatively in depth like they put in my opinion they put way too much into it like overall where it gets like kind of confusing well, at this I'm point hoping of, like, to say what hi. do i need to do where do i need to go just in. like i just kind of want to fight and then to get Hopefully rewards we for can, things uh, and then use rewards but there's a lot of systems on top of subsystems yeah Man, but it was yeah, like that, crazy that, that they added that yeah you got me interested in trying this mode now especially oh I wanna, good i i especially i want to try out the mode where i just skip the seven days <laughs> and see how hard he really is i want to really I, see that is is that doable max have you seen that happen have you had players tell you like oh i was able to do that like so i don't or... i don't think it was at the start but <laughs> it, it it got the mode got changed right granted this is the mode i literally worked on but i was the cinematics guy so i wasn't like I wasn't like debugging it or anything or like testing it so i never yeah, yeah. I, I think i beat shadow lords once on a like medium difficulty when it first came out but there's there's like several difficulties that get really difficult like really hard and you can still do the skip on those so i don't i wish i could tell you but i actually don't know oh i, I, know I want justin to do this there's there's definitely some people that i think it's absolutely possible to, to do it but it really depends on which difficulty you choose because that has a huge impact on how hard this is all right we gotta get the uh nikki fgc the best the possible killer instinct player in the world to try that mode see see what's harder winning a tournament or beating this mode oh, yeah, super any, like, attic super this is a fun. long job yeah like it's yeah, been, yeah, like, been, been at us for over an hour done it. like the ki fan base is at least big enough for that someone to be like i can do this no problem but i i never looked it up now i'm very interested. oh my god, god it's not an that. addict yeah, this I is mean, straight up a second that, floor think, here because like, ki i would say the ki community in general is just like super hardcore into it they know everything about it they're not they're not just like fighting game players they're like killer instinct loyalists yeah. i feel like they they would try that eventually it's like hey you know what let me let me see how hard it is without without these consumables and like you know these buffs and stuff yeah it's it's it, but it's just the general like the general just shows up when you try this <laughs> like gargos gets gets bro. like chung goku satsu he might, he might be the general one, <laughs> By the way, can, can we talk about like epic boss fight like isms? I I can't even tell you how much I love CVS 2's bosses because oh, yeah, you love yeah they're like it's like your favorite I it's think like, I or think it's up it's, there it's right? Probably one of my favorite Capcom like lead ups and bosses is what they do with you know Rugal or specifically like God Rugal and you know God Akuma type Shin Akuma type shit. I, I absolutely love where God God Rugal has murdered Akuma. He's oh, yeah. holding his body and he just yeah. throws it away to like kill you. I'm like, this is so fucking cool. Like, like a five year old, oh my God. No, that, uh, I, I thought that was fantastic as well. And even the, when you play them, like the playable version, like uh, Dreamcast, and then you play them as bosses, you, you feel their power. That's the best part. They have the craziest combos, the craziest like conversions. Like everything was just completely broken and not like 
meant to be played against like actual humans uh, but man i remember i felt bad because i played one of my friends uh, as a uh, ratio for shinakuma and he just threw a fireball this lonely fireball from full screen i had th level three and i just came down from the sky and just chopped him and all you see is tiles first hey oh and i'm like oh my god i'm sorry i am so sorry that this, this is from full screen. <laughs> Uh, I, I, th I think we've, we've bossed each other around enough for today, unless there, there's a final closing thought on, on, on bosses and stuff. But I think we almost, like, kind of buried our lead by saying nowadays it's like it happens very rarely. But yeah. it would be cool if we did this, the, the balance of having, having a boss is playable, is, like, Mac point out, fighting games much more expensive to make nowadays. But have a more powered up version for when you're like, doing the arcade ladder or story mode. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think I think it's like the uh, what makes the allure of boss fights is always an interesting conversation. And for me, it's always to see like the hardest difficulty of a boss and what the AI is going to do to cheese you out of something. And mm -hmm. it, oh, every single time, the the older fighting games, especially, they never disappoint. There's always some never ridiculous thing, and uh, that's kind of like the what makes boss fights, especially class one, classic ones, super special to me. Mm. Yeah, I would say same, same like literally what Mike, what Max said, and I think one thing is like, bro, if if Dark Soul games are acceptable and loved by a lot of players and people, uh, and people love seeing that, why can't fighting game bosses be the same? I miss that. I I, I still love playing old school old school fighting games just because I I hear the bosses are insane. Like I love hear seeing reading comments. Uh, from people saying, hey, you need to try this game and fight this boss because you don't know what you you missing out, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, man, I, I, let me see. And so it, I'm always I always love to see that surprise. Justin, you, you go ahead, man. I was going to say you love you say you love it, but like half of your thumbnails are you crying oh, when you're fighting is? these bosses? Oh my, I mean, there, there, there has been some major tragic moments when I'm fighting these bosses for sure, but it the, the feeling of like beating it and getting it done and then it's, it's just yeah. it's, a, it's a great feeling it's, that proposes it's a, a great, great question Fight, fighting game devs we are waiting for the dark souls of fighting games let us have it we're ready <laughs> bro yeah let, let stage one ai be read your inputs right away and then you know make make sure like everyone just suffers i would love to see kind of that situation. I don't want to upset down yeah, fish. We want more <laughs> I don't suffering. want to make what Listen I can't We know what we're talking about. <laughs> I think Capcom does a great job when they're adding okay, like that's collaboration the characters. I I so. <laughs> yeah, I can't really, really recall like a really good boss fight I ever had in a fighting game. Like an actual decent one. I mean, I, I, I like what Guilty Gear does. Like, depending on how well you do in the arcade determines on how hard. Um, the whole arcade is going to be like. Part of me likes that, part of me hates that because I don't have a choice in that matter. Like, if I'm too good, oh no, I'm too good. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm too good now. Everything is impossible now. You know, I, I like, <laughs> I, I don't like that part. I'd rather just stick with one difficulty. Like, you know, just have the choice of just doing. Um, because, like, I don't want to, like, go too hard, right? I, I just I, I want to play these characters because I want to try them out. So, so, so yeah, that, that's, that's an example of, like, well, it's more like the lack of choice in that matter, but like, you know, you, you, you get difficulty based on how well you do. Um, but yeah, I must, I must prefer like a more stable way, I guess. <laughs> uh, consistent way, I would say, on, on doing it. Well, let me just hit that part. Ah, great. I don't know what to listen to now. <laughs> I only really wanted to listen to some podcasts. Uh, actually, before I do that, I need to get 
four tiles first. I want to listen to 21 Pilots, but that's copyrighted, and no one does covers of 21 Pilots, <laughs> so I uh, can't really listen to that. Oh, you know what's another podcast thing I like to listen to? The Yarscast. <laughs> I just listen to peculiar portions, because that's always entertaining. Uh, where is it, where is it? Are you winning, son? Hey, how you doing, cutie? You're, you're, you're good, slime? Uh, uh, but, uh, what? Slime? I'm not slime. I'm a burb. Uh, where is it, the Yorks cast? Or... The audio portion of the stream. Oh, I was in mid wait, I was in the middle of watching this one. <laughs> it's like we're presenting something to them. Look what I have. Precious precious peculiar portions. Isn't it weird? Wait, have you seen this episode? Do you think that was what they have in, um Mar Marcellus Wall Wallace Wallace's briefcase in Pulp Faction? Right, is that where it shines? Golden glow. <gasps> it's Simon's peculiar portion. It's a copy of the Metro. There's some weird story on it about well, a penguin shitting in no, the mouth of a seal. That is not the story. What is it? That is not the story we're doing today. A person dressed up as well, Sonic actually, the Hedgehog. Well, does it have to be... I mean, really, it's not really. Uh, They're just wearing a mask. 100%. I could just do the whole thing with this uh, panels instead. This I think I'd rather do that. People are robbing banks in Actually, no, it's the same thing here, but. Aren't there better ways to make money? Crypto grows. Just do a, do a little crypto scam. That's the way. Maybe, you know, because there's been a dip recently. Oh, um, so the crypto oh no, wait a minute. Having a hard time. This video's coming out in like two months. It's from now. gone up massively. No, 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 dips. there's been another dip. There's been a, sec <laughs> a second dip. Florida Credit Union Assistant Vice President of Branch Operations. That's what you get. Sure. Can you imagine? Has he got that on his business card? Florida Credit Union Assistant Vice President of Branch Operations. And his name's Brian. Brian Leatherman. Yeah. <laughs> no one was hurt. There was no damage to the building or windows. And no money was stolen. No money was stolen? What kind of fucking bank robbery is that? This isn't a bank robbery! This is literally Call this story is okay, man sleepy. wears Sonic the Hedgehog mask, walks into a bank, and nothing happens. Sorry, because like I, I, I have another well, we uh, viewer that's also like, also has QD in their name, so the fact that bank <laughs> that's why I thought you, were, you, you two were the same all, person. I don't, I don't really think they have much money in banks. But I guess there could be more than one QD in the world. I guess. I don't remember the last time I, like. Went to a bank. Hey, look. And got some money out. What? Can I call you Evil Burby? Think he had Why like, evil? You know, what like makes me evil? In the getaway car outside. And the reason he's wearing the mask is because he wanted to, you know, have the hold of the stuff of the money, jump in the passenger seat of the car, and then turn to his friend and say, "We've got to go fast." <laughs> But his son, his brother's dressed as Knuckles. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Freaking laughed at the tails joke. In the back. I'm Knuckles the Echidna, but you can call me Knuckles. Let's not go into I had a Kaweco in just a single <laughs> opening. Well, yeah, we won't go into. Dr. Eggman is trying to steal the Master Emeralds. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I keep the shards of the Master Emeralds in my Kaweco, <laughs> which is a single Eurogen opening. It's good to know. Used for both. He tells you this busy. every time. I don't know why. <laughs> damn why it. do you do this? Why are huh? you like this? You just mentioned Knuckles the Echidna. It's, like it's like a tick. Just imagine if Idris Elba walked in. I would, I would have to say the copy pasta to him. It's, it's oh, it's not on screw, that's why. What? 
the knuckles of your kid no yeah. You look angry and like tense. No, that's just my that's just my like avatar. Movie. Yeah, and, and I I don't know how to make this guy look James not Bond? angry, so yeah. that's why my starbound avian like, is always angry. Barbara that's just that's Barbara just him. <laughs> I wish I had my Animal Crossing character as an avatar, like but I can't. I don't have that. <laughs> He's more cheerful. Yeah. After the vegetable. Now after her father, Cubby. Either that, that's just my resting face. And Cubby my resting face is, is, is like this normally. What? I'm not making this up. There's a man called Cubby Broccoli. No, he's dead. Well, he, he was a man. Who owned James Bond. So what about Ian rights? Fleming? What happened to Ian Fleming? I don't know. Because like, I get that in real life. Yeah. Um, like... I I, I I always I, I always look I always do it in a constant state of sad in real life. So people will always say what's wrong, but it's like nothing is wrong with me. I'm just just I'm this is my normal face. <laughs> he could burby an evil doggo. What, what what doggo? <laughs> Ain't no doggos here. This is burbs. I have two burbs. Well, uh, not not in real life, but you know my characters are burbs. That's actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We don't need on school things. That yeah, back first. memories. Yeah, yeah. It's a good show. Could have been 007. Could have. Like, I'm really sorry. Uh, I've got this this amazing role lined up. Yeah. I'm playing Knuckles the Echidna in the sequel to the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. The mix between CG and live action. And they were like, okay, fair enough. Would you like to see my cloaca? The subject, believed to be male by their tone of voice, wearing a Sonic the Hedgehog mask. I think this is just a story that has been repeated over and over again throughout the years. Whatever's, whatever masks you can buy Tell cheap. Us all this time. <laughs> <laughs> whatever mask you can buy over the years, whether yeah. it's a Nixon mask or one right. of those ones from uh, Anonymous. I like your avatar, it looks like it has you know, adorable ears too. I don't really yeah. call them or, ears, that's just, that's just the feathers, so I, I would say. I just them in the shop because of the movie. It's whatever is on sale yeah. at the moment gets used for bank. Because he obviously needs money, so he's not going to spend a lot of money on a mask. Yeah, and the balaclava is too scary. Because he, he didn't even have a gun, he didn't have money for a gun. He right. had a hammer. And he showed them the hammer. Give me the fucking money. Now, or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna hammer nail a this painting glass that's separating you and me. It's bulletproof glass. Yeah, it's bulletproof, not hammer proof, is it though? Uh, I don't think. Ah, uh, I mean, I don't know. You have to be pretty desperate for to do this, right? Was yeah. he trying to get arrested? This is some of the times, sometimes the thing that's happening. I don't think so, because he ran. He, he fled the scene. If you wanted to get arrested, how him. would you do it? I think I'd probably kill a kid. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. Definitely get a prison, wouldn't you? No, but... And be like, oh, I, know, yeah, but I don't know if you want to go to prison. The kid was a dick anyway. They wouldn't like Which kid? say that, would they? I don't know. You're gonna have to I'm not going to name a kid, am I? No, but then you're going to have to do research to find which kids are dicks and then kill one which is no, a No, no, no. I'm saying that, you know, in court or whatever, they, they wouldn't be like... Oh, there's mitigating circumstances, though. The kid, the kid was, was a dick. dick. The kid was like, "Oh, hey, Diggy, Diggy, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wanna uh, sing me a fucking song, right, Diggy, oh? Why don't you turn me into a foul boy, Rico, and are you? They're not gonna do that, are they? No, because they would let you off in that case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not what you want. Well, no, you do. You just wanted to be arrested, not in prison for life, I assume. I don't know. You, you, all you said was, "What would you do to get?" I said arrested. Arrested. Oh, shit. Oh, I took things too far. You didn't did, I? you went like. Oh, now I kill a kid. Lewis. <laughs> I can get you off. You've got a great lawyer. Where's my phone? Where's my pocket? I'll throw it out the window. That'll destroy the evidence. Lewis! Lewis, I, I did a bad thing! Simon, what? Again? Lewis, help! I, you've eaten them all? Help! I like how I got my phone out and you just. You've eaten them all? You I don't, need a, a, I don't need a prop. I'm a professional method actor. You're a what? Professional method actor. Professional. <laughs> I can't even speak. What a fucking actor are you? I'm a friendly. What? Just. What? what don't abandon the skill. No, no, no. I'm too busy. Oh, Oh, 
a dead bird over there. <laughs> freedom, 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 who's <laughs> look a stack? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's just, that's just my American, f American friend. No relation at all. I don't need a real phone, because I'm a better actor than you. So what have you done with all, oh. the, all the cakes? <laughs> that was for the children, that I thing. killed the kid! What do you mean? I killed him like a kid! How did you he was going on a boat, shut up, Mr. Bell! How did you do it? <laughs> it's so red! I fuck, I kicked his fucking head in! <laughs> you beat him to death! With my foot, yeah! With your apple, your apple shoes. <laughs> my budget will run out soon. I got a bunch of marbles, put them in a sock, tie me clothes, then bashed him over the head with it! Where is he now? Where's his body? You saw that you from Hong Kong. I mean, that is in the description. <laughs> Wait, where are you? <laughs> My house. Channel. What was he the doing in garden. your back garden? I put a painting of a clown in there. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and then I saw a kid. A kid appeared. He was holding a balloon. I don't. Um, okay, listen. We can fix this. Have you got a blanket? No. Or a sheet. I, no. Or something. You haven't got sheep. No, I don't use them. <laughs> How do you sleep? I just use a towel. <laughs> Get a towel. It's too small. It's more like a flannel. <laughs> Gosh, this isn't helpful at all. I know, I'm sorry. I've got bin liners, will they do? Sure, get some toilet roll as well. Wrap him up like a mummy. Okay. We'll disguise him as an ancient... Egyptian burial. Oh, and then I phone the police hey, and say, dead. Oh, I found a mummy in my garden. Yeah. And then, like, literally 15 seconds after they arrive, they arrest me. <laughs> yes. And that's what you what you were hoping for. I yeah. Assume. Yeah. <laughs> a wonderful story. God. I just, the image of you sleeping on your bed underneath. <laughs> like, completely nude. Only like a tiny square of flannel covering you. It's on my face, it's not, even. It's not even on my <laughs> It's not even on my dick and balls. It's on my face. Our next story, um, oh. <coughs> on, on another topic, well, it's related. It's about crime. All right. This is the crime episode. It's crime very, news. It's very sad, but also well, exciting. <coughs> I mean, this might. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Yeah, but we are now. Yeah. Sorry, crime news. Just like the other cutie. I know, I went into a bit of fantasy. Let's go. Here's some vintage music. Define vintage. Identity fraud. Okay? It's a very serious crime. Very common. It's very common. People will want to grab up and steal your identity. Yeah, I'm identity fraud. Yeah. I like Greg's. <laughs> well, <laughs> very common. Oh, I see. No, I, I mean, yeah, it's obviously. I'm putting my my feet up on the table and I've got shoes on. That's it's, how common it is. It is. It happens. On, it can happen to you. No. You're right. Yeah. Someone Please. could become the new Simon Lane. There already isn't a, another Simon Lane. Is there? Yeah. Here he Who is. Who is it? It's this guy. When you Google Simon Lane, you see this man. Right. And what this is going to be really weird if Alex doesn't edit this in. What about him? Has he taken over your personality? He's taken you? over, I think, I'm all those out. big deals. And, you know, the big companies. Yeah. They're all going to him. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Because I'm not getting him. We did lurk out. I'm not getting him. That, that does explain a lot. Leave this out. That deal. I was going to have that. That's gone. Someone else is doing that. Right. I didn't know you were into. <laughs> Please bleep out the name of the. I game. didn't know you were into that that game. I love it. Do you? All the stuff with. Thanks, Kaiba. I've been practicing. Uh, you triggered my anything. trap card. There's loads of Ugh. Kaibas in uh, in many different <laughs> IPs. So what? You you think your identity is already? Yeah. 
lost. Yeah, Simon Lane. Irretrievable. Stealing it. He's, he's probably got like, you know, he's probably sat in like one of those really expensive gamer chairs. Like the Hello Kitty razor one. Oh, there's the wardrobe, there. that's why. Mm, this is comfortable. Mm. So is this like two people sharing the <laughs> same person out of person? He's not like my evil doppelganger. He's just a man that has my well, name. Well, I guess he is, though, isn't he? Like he doesn't even look like me. Do you get to be him? Does do you think this man looks like me? What was he called before? He stole your identity. He's always been Simon Lane. Oh, I see. But I'm talking about someone who's stolen. Do you not know the guy I'm talking no. about? No. Are you fucking kidding? Is he more famous it's than you? A bit of a meme. That oh, that guy. Not that guy. That fucking not that guy. That guy. Simon Lane. But he's always been knockoff Simon Lane. No, no, it's my details, and then it's my picture. When you click on on this, no, but he's always it goes to me. But it's his picture. No, but that's when we did an article. I did an article. All right. That's, that's not me, Lewis. Oh not my, my God! Photo. One hour and a half of this. All right. They put that photo in for you one time. This is the this is the Simon Lane. He's a pianist. Is he? Don't call him that. You <laughs> did quite a lot of this house. Quite a nice man. Simon Lane, look, he's got a website. The only like pet related thing we did was our query. That surprises me so little. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should hone on his thing. Pian pianism. Pianism. I should be a pianism. I sh pianism. Well, you're close already. Yeah. So, it's only a few letters different. I'm very good at handling large instruments. Mm -hmm. Getting my fingers all over them. Right. Fingering is an important part of pianism. Um, identity fraud. Oh, I think that's it for today. Indeed. Do you remember? Um, it's, a, it's a threat to all of us. It's a threat to, I don't know. You have quite a long stream for today. <laughs> Two and a half hours. So but yeah, I uh, hope you guys don't mind me listening to, to podcasts instead of music because I, I, I know... Um, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I don't know how people enjoy when I when I do streams where I'm not talking too much. I don't know how you guys you prefer the music or the podcast because like honestly, I, I don't really have what in, have much input <laughs> on what I'm doing. Like in a game like this, is like oh well, I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna place this here because it looks nice. <laughs> Say that I, I I don't think that re that's really good commentary. So yeah. And I mean, again, it's just thank you. The game like this is just for me to chill out. Um, not really um, pay too much attention to you know focusing on something. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully uh, oh, tomorrow is Thursday. Um, I think we're going to do Hollow Knight. We're going to continue Thursday, Thursday. So we're going to do Hollow Knight again. Um, and see, if we can complete a new zone. We we just got into a new zone. We can try to. Beat that. Hopefully, I can get the dash ability <laughs> in that in, in that session, and we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for that for the uh, for Thursday, Thursday, and play some Hollow Knight. Right, you guys have a good night. <laughs>